After months of waiting, Isekai Oji-san is back in its last stretch. We should only have like, what, this is episode 9, so 9, 10, 11, 12, but we're almost there at the end of the season. It's just a shame that the scheduling just kind of ruined the entire hype and the, I guess, a lot of casual again aren't able to keep up for a series that just kind of been forgotten, I guess, because of the scheduling. But still fun, still a good time. Last episode, what happened? Um, Mabel came back? Wait, even before that, we had the... A, a new girl appeared, right? Alicia, and she's supposed to be a hero, and then Oji-san kind of, like, helped them a little bit too much, and then he made them just just forget their memories, and then they clear the dungeon again, and back and forth, and back and forth, and then Mabel came back at the end. She actually got a job, not for too long, because we kind of got her fired after fighting against that entire, like, Royal Kingdom executive. I'm not really sure what we're doing. We're just having more time. I mean, the whole formula is just, like, Oji-san just showing us his memories of the past, but it's still fun. It's still nice. I hope we get to see Elf again this episode. Let's begin today's episode. Okay, back to a regular program. So... Right! He fucked up the roof of that place, right? No one really... No one really got upset. I thought someone would be upset, but he turned into a dragon and then he couldn't change back. So what'd you do? But... You got out. Because it looks so cool. We had to, like, make a point to that guy. Right? We just wanted to look cool. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. Well, that guy wouldn't trust us, right? We had to, like, prove our power. He's like, how can we trust this dude? All right, so we turned into a dragon. Oh. Dragon Slayer. Elf! Elf, you're back! This is our first time seeing Elf since our long, long break. Does she always have the sword? The fuck? Oh my god. Also, her name is still just Elf. There was even a point where we were sharing our names of what everyone's names were. And Elf was about to say something, but he's like, no, it's just Elf. Why? Oh. That's the... Isn't that the ring that we gave her? <laughs> Tsundere Elf is back. Yo. Elf is kind of crazy strong too. So why is Oji-san just like shooting flames at it? Like, you know who this is. Are we just playing? Did it do anything? Not, uh, not really. Yo, Elf can just teleport around like that? She's actually kind of really strong, huh? Like, how does he turn back into a human? Oh, it's a little cute. Oji sounds wrong. I just dragged. Gonna... Does she know that this is Oji san or. Oh. So she does know. Okay, gotcha. Okay. I thought that she was fighting him as like a actual threat, but. Oh. Is she gonna turn back or. Oh, show me the landing. We got a lap pillow? We got an actual lap pillow. You know, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, or, oh, yeah. who is this dude? Oh. Okay, things are getting kind of interesting. Reg plug in comp. I have no idea who that is. This guy looks like the most typical bad dude, man. Absolutely not. True daughter of the Elgar royal family. Okay, we're getting more backstory behind Elf. Okay, so she's a princess. She kind of ran away from home, I guess. And that's why she never wants to tell us her name, because, you know, identity is important to keep secret. Hey, whoa, I'm a data princess. <laughs> Oh, I'm a full princess! Yeah. She's a... Yeah? Really? She doesn't like being called princess. She's trying to run away from her fate. Oh, Jisan, you gotta get up! She might actually go berserk if you keep making fun of her. Wait! Some kind of collar locks her down. Okay, we need Oji-san to wake up, man. 
A dark pact card. Well, that's just between the contract parties, right? We've got another guy on the ground right now. It's about to get up. It's already done. Be free of your blood pack, your, your dark pact. It's burning away. No! Thanks, Hell. Hello again. Also, he didn't he didn't know about the lap pillow, huh? Are you gonna walk away right now? Oh Jesus, no, we're handling the rest of the conflict! We're not done yet! They're just so But we spent so much money on that. Making a contract with the spirit. What the fuck? No shower for a month and she's oh, a little bit of sniff. You sniffed him? Huh? Because eh? she might be a little bit into what you said. Sure, sure. It's not like it took a smell for nothing. You smelled him when you were strangling him. What a ridiculous excuse. Man, she really sniffed a one month no shower OG son. That's some. The things you'll do when you're in love. I think it's pretty obvious that Tsundere Elf is pretty into OG son. He doesn't look like an Auric. Huh? Don't be a little more like that! Huh? Who's this? Oh, some strong looking dude, but to Oji-san it's nothing. Dorodor, the giant hunter! Am I supposed to know him? Alright, let's see a fight. Watson be already gone. No, I thought it would be funny if Oji-san and Neno Elf already flew away while they were talking. <laughs> Maybe she can, but he definitely can't. Yeah? Can she? Oh, wait, wait, that's what you saw already there. Huh? Wait! Wait, wait! He's giving him a ring? He gave it to Elf and Mabel and now he... <laughs> that's just like his default way of paying people off. But like, rings like that, I feel like, you know, getting the ring to, like, there's some level like romanticism, you know, and else getting a little bit pissed off and jealous. Um, I'm not sure if he's shocked by the elf or the fact that Oji-san just put a ring on his ring finger. The elf is going berserk. She's actually getting kind of upset. Oh. Well, I mean, if you do that, she's gonna be all fine all of a sudden. Oh, it's a swamp? Ew. Ew, okay, that was maybe not the most romantic save then. Yeah, so we kept it safe. That's how much she cares. Oh, this plan, come on, read between the lines! Oh, all these compliments. Oh. Oh, we're getting a little bit of an oo scene. Oh. <gasps> She's being dead -a again. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It's How is he so lucky, man? How is he so lucky? She keeps like understanding him even though there's so much misunderstandings. Oh, he san, come on. Don't ruin this moment. Take her with you. Can we go? Hot spring episode time? Yeah, that's a good thing to do. Ew. But that's a seasoned adventure. Seasoned in terms of experience and tenure or seasoned of, you know. Ugh. That's disgusting. I guess if you're an adventure, it's a little bit different. You can't be as hygienic as you want. Post credit scene? A parasite. Oh. What's going on? Oh, the gang's all back. Mabel's passed out as usual. She doesn't wake up till 4 p.m. Hey, you! How are you? That's the first thing you do? Why? There must be a good reason. 
Now it's you. I need to look. Oh, okay, she, he's looking for the infectious, I guess. Uh, he's about to lift that up, too. There's suddenly so much fan service. That's you. That's the parasitic. Are you okay? That's a parasitic infection, right? Oh! Oh! What the fuck? That was an that was an odd ending. Sometimes I don't really know what's going on in Isekai Uji. Some things are just happening, and there's a lot of references that kind of goes over my head. But also, like the direction of the show is like, I, I, there isn't supposed to be an overall plot. It's just you know funny moments, you know remembering the past Uji San and stuff like that. But sometimes I'm just like left be left like. The fuck is going on right now? I thought that parasitic monster or something might be a plot in the next episode, but who really knows? There's not supposed. It'd be nice if there was like an actual overarching arc. And considering this is episode nine, we're probably gonna have like three or two more episodes to wrap up the season. It'd be nice to have an actual like big arc or something, something serious to happen. But eh, we'll see what happens. But hey, if you stick around this song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel if you're watching the video immediately after this one. It helps the YouTube algorithm push out my small channel to so recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.